You see the fans holding up their signs, and when you come to Monster Jam, bring your signs, but the Grave Digger group is ready because it is digger time as Blue Thunder continues to set the pace in Monster Jam Freestyle in Atlanta. Dennis Anderson still on the shelf. He is here, not racing because of that shoulder injury suffered earlier in the year. So it's his son, Adam Anderson, who will be driving here tonight. And he's motivated. He wants to be the driver to snap Tom Mentz's Atlanta winning streak. Hey, Tom, is, uh, they, somebody said he's got a, he's five times he's won here. And I want to break that streak for him. That's my goal this weekend. Last weekend was to do good for my dad and the first time being in the digger truck. It's still going to be that this weekend, but now I have one more thing to chase down. That's Tom for the five-time uh, wins in here in Atlanta. I want to take that away from him. Here's your shot. Love hearing that truck pull onto the track, Ken, whether it's Adam or Dennis driving it. it I mean, it's the best of the best. It is, and that's a pretty tall task. Whoa, right off the maximum destruction. Yeah, right off the bat. Adam says the bullseye's on you, Tom, and here he comes to get it. Look at the air already. Adam Anderson, one of the drivers who make you smile when you think about the future of this sport. Because, oh, look at this. Huge tear for Adam Anderson. But you think about it, it's Adam Anderson, it's Derek Evans, it's David Bradshaw, it's Mark McDonald. Boy, with guys like this, we've got a huge future. Look at that. Something going wrong inside of the truck, as you can see, more and more smoke coming out of this one, so his time is limited. We're thinking maybe he heard a shock, and it's probably getting a little bit of fluid on the exhaust system in there, creating a lot more smoke, so the truck should continue on here. We'll find out how long he can stay with it. Wow! Saves it. He's okay. He went kind of strangely at it. It wasn't what you really call a cross thread. He just went at a weird angle, and it gave him a chance to make the save, and he made the save. And, you know, for a youngster, we've already seen him make a lot of brilliant saves. Just his second year in the truck. I mean, the kid's amazing, and he saves it. There you go again. He felt that thing hook and managed to counter steer it. I mean, lightning quick. But how invaluable has it been for Adam in his 21 years to every weekend be around his father and Tom Mentz and their wars. He's seen how they do it. He's just doing it himself now. And that's what a lot of people say. A lot of people say that kids that grew up in a racing family have watched it so long they're a natural inside of a race car. I think that's exactly what's going on here. One save after another. He did it again. Adam Anderson, and now the judges have to turn in their scores. He's not stopping. That thing is completely destroyed in the back. There goes the shocks. I mean, this is vintage Dennis Anderson, and Adam Anderson is doing it. And now he's going to try to finish with a donut. <laughs> Adam Anderson, listen to this crap. 66,000 plus on their feet. What an amazing freestyle out of that kid. Just huge air right off the bat. What do they say? Ain't scared? He is name. He ain't scared, I tell you right now. And that truck is just spectacular. It stayed together. Right here you can see the rear end kind of dislodged a little bit. That's when he broke the shock. And a little bit of fluid going over the exhaust system, a lot of smoke. But look at what he does after that. I mean, he goes for it. For those of you wondering the subtleties here, that gray and black flag on the back is part of the 25th anniversary tour. It's only seen at events where Adam and Dennis are on the 25th anniversary. Look at this save right here. Last second. I mean, stands on the throttle, turns back into it, manages to keep it on all fours. The question is, will the judges give him more than 28? And if they do, will it be a 30 to where Tom can't beat him? Those are... Those are some amazing, spectacular saves here. What an incredible freestyle we have seen from Adam Anderson and this whole night. You look at what Blue Thunder's done, Avenger, Brutus, and now Adam Anderson <laughs> raises the bar to a huge level, and the score is 29. Oh, so it man. does give him the lead, but it does leave Tom Mentz one point to work with. I just want to ask the guy with the number nine, what were you watching? How is that not a perfect 10? Adam Anderson was brilliant, but Tom Metz has got room. We'll watch Max D when we come back. You do not want to miss it. Monster Jam is brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. We're ready in advance. And by Ford F-Series, the best-selling truck for 30 straight years. Monster Jam's only seven-time world champ is pulled on the track. 
and he's getting away from the crowd to get him going. They are fired up because Tom Bench has won this freestyle five straight years to make it six. He's going to have to be perfect. The judges have left him one point to work with. Can he get all three of them to hoist up a tent? To do it, he is going to have to have one of the freestyles of his career because Adam Anderson has forced him to do that. He's been brilliant. But earlier, we talked to Tom about his Atlanta streak. I don't know, I just had a lot of great performances in this building over the years. I've had a lot of success here. And that carries over from year to year, you know. And if you can keep running it really hard and proving that the name on the side of it, Maximum Destruction, is what you're all about, you can pull off another win, hopefully. Tom is on the track as soon as he makes contact with now. The clock starts with a huge air. His hand already outside of the window. Keep in mind they had to do repairs to the roll cage here because he rolled it over and racing. And he's going for it right here. I said it was going to be a tall order for Adam Anderson to take it away from this guy. Well, this guy has a tall order now to get back ahead of Adam. Oh, he is going for it. Look at his nose. Look at this. That is awesome control. He knew he couldn't stand on the brake or he'd roll it over. He took every inch of floor possible to finally set it back down and not flip it. That's amazing. Wow. Now, Mets still needs to sustain this. Remember, one of the things that Adam and Tony Farrell did, they sustained nonstop. Look at Mets. He is just one move right after the next. And he has given us the most spectacular moment. That little pirouette on the front wheel was incredible. I, I don't know that I've ever seen such braking control in my life in a monster truck. And look at this guy, man. Tom Metz is absolutely flying out. You can look when you see the stands. Every person in the 66,000 seat Georgia Dome is on their feet. And they've been on their feet throughout this freestyle. This is an amazing night. And we're getting an amazing performance to cap it off. There's that signature finger out the window. Tom Metz holding the arm out, one finger up as he's going big. Keep in mind, he runs a rear steer with that left hand. He has a paddle over there on the left side of the truck. He can actually, as he hits a couple of trucks along the way, he doesn't care. But he can actually really have great control over that rear steer, which, by the way, looks like it might be broken at this point. Here it comes back to center. Nice cross thread over the mountain. Now he'll cross thread the buses. And that's exactly what he had to do. I mean, that's what Adam did that added that special element to his show. So... Mitz watches that and knows what he has to do. And he also got it up on two wheels. There were so many saves from Grave Digger. That's going to stand out. So Tom had to give us a save, too. I mean, it really has become this technical. Tom has to sit there and notice what Grave Digger does, try to make sure he does it, and if he can, does it better. Up and over. He's back on There you go. He's still running, baby. <laughs> now, I think the judges have already had to put in their scores. What a moment that was. Boy, oh, boy. I Glad I'm not a judge. I would not have to pick between these two guys here. Would not want to pick. I wouldn't want to pick. They're both winners. They're both champions. Listen to this. Scott Hartsock is sitting in his truck, and Tom Metz is landing in his lap. His brand new truck, by the way. Yeah, he's not real <laughs> pleased right now. Guarantee it. We'll go back and have a look at this. This is signature Tom Metz. Hand out of the window and the biggest air you can find. On a mission is what it says on the front. Look at that thing. Look how high he was at the apex. And this is when he stops it on the front tires. He has to be very careful. Walks it all the way across the floor on the front tires. And the big air just kept coming and kept coming during this run. And you know the thing is, as brilliant as Adam Anderson was in Gravedigger, Tom was just as brilliant, maybe more, maybe less, depending on your perspective. But they did some things different. The things they kind of did the same, they were very, very similar. That thing rolled completely over so perfectly, I can't help but wonder if he didn't do it on purpose. Again, look at the fans. Everybody's on their feet. Nobody's sitting throughout this freestyle. And this is what it's all about. That's why you got to go online to MonsterJamOnline.com. Find out where the events are coming up. Get your tickets early. Oh, we have a tie. Figure that out. A same guy throws up a number nine as well. All three judges scored them both the same. So interesting. Those three judges think it was a tie. What the Monster Jam officials are going to do, though. What does that guy want to see? A triple sow cow? I mean, I don't know what he's looking for here. Well, but he, was, he, he scored it the same for both he of them. Did. He I, did. It's I'll hard to that. dispute that. But again, the officials are saying they're going to let the whole crowd cheer it off to try and break the tie, even though technically these two are tied. And here, listen to this. The crowd cheering for Tom Mets and holding up their Tom Mets signs. You can tell they love it.
Saab miss. Now Adam Anders. Oh, looks like the crowd prefers Brave Vigor. It's just a little bit louder. And Adam leads the cheers himself. He gets the job done. It was a great performance for both, but Digger is going to be declared the winner. So Brenda Price is going down to talk to Adam Anders. All right, Adam. Well, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought that was your dad out there driving. You definitely proved with two freestyle wins, and you came into a house where Tom dominates, and you won the cheer off. That's exactly what I wanted to do. That was my goal for the weekend to beat Tom out. You know what? He did an awesome freestyle too. But like Dad said earlier on. You know, he got going right after his time was up, and he did an awesome job out there. They worked really hard to get the truck going, but you know what? I want to take him down. They said five years straight. I was like, what's that all about, guys? Come on, somebody's got to take him down. All right. Your freestyle champion here tonight in Atlanta, Adam Anderson. Oh, Brenda, there's Proud Papa joining you guys on stage. That's my boy, he said. <laughs> How about our Ford Trucks Bold Move of the Night, Ken? And it's going to be Tom Mentz at Maximum Destruction. Watch this. Roll it all the way over, ends up on force, fires it back up, stabs the throttle, and away he goes. The bold move of the night, and we could have picked a bunch of them. There were tons of bold moves on this track. Ken, this is going to be one of those freestyles we remember all year because not just one performance, so many. I mean, it got started a little slow, but then you went Bergeron and, and Kohler and Hardstock, and of course, what we saw then with Tony Farrell, Adam Anderson, and Tom Mentz was truly amazing. And in my opinion, I think Adam Anderson put on the best freestyle of his young career. Las Vegas is the official destination of Monster Jam and the Monster Jam World Finals. This is the kind of action you see at the Monster Jam World Finals. You're seeing it every week right here on Speed. It has been an amazing night in Atlanta. We're heading to Ford Field in Detroit to go racing next week. Make sure you're here with us to enjoy it. For Ken Stout and for Brenda Price, I'm Scott Douglas. See you next time.